Section 5.1 is scale drawings and models. And what I'm going to do is go through the notes um, so you understand how to work to the example as well. So ratios uh, are always written as the length of the size of the model to the length of the size of the original object. See, the model to the original. And they're always written with a colon that looks something like this. Um, so you have the model to the original. And that's important. So you know that the first number represents what's on the, the picture or the diagram or the uh, model. And the second number represents what's in the real world in the actual, uh, the actual distance length size of the object. So as you know, ratios and scale models are used to describe lots of different things, buildings and diagrams and things like that. Um, and here we have uh, a map of Trinidad. So I've, I've picked up this map. Uh, they have this little scale up here. And what I've done is I've actually measured the distance of this. This is blown up considerably. But when I measure the distance, um, it actually measures about two centimeters long. And as you can see, if the, that measures two centimeters long to there, so right from here to here, the actual distance is two, or the distance that you measure on the picture is two centimeters. So there's the size on the model. But the actual distance on the picture is 30 kilometers. So your scale would be two centimeters to 30 kilometers. Notice that the units are totally different. Sometimes um, this happens, typically with maps. And what you'll have is you'll have a ratio of two centimeters to 30 kilometers. So the, the units are completely different. Uh, you could convert kilometers to centimeters, but then you would have a very, very large number because you would have to convert 30 to meters first. And how many meters are in a kilometer? A thousand, right? So you'd have, first of all, two to 30,000. That would be two to 30,000 meters. Still, I'm in different units. Then I would have to convert that to centimeters. And how many, meter, how many centimeters are in a meter? A hundred, right? So again, you'd have two centimeters for every, and then you have to multiply this by a hundred, so add two more zeros. So zero, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So one, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma. So it would be two centimeters. Now they're in the same units to three million centimeters. So typically with maps, you don't often see the ratio written like this. You don't see it written two to three million. You would see it written as two centimeters to 30 kilometers. And that was, so that's what your ratio would be. So you could convert it if you wanted to. Sometimes your textbook does, uh, or your workbook um, will. Um, but typically with maps, you'll see that kind of thing happen. And remember that you can always reduce ratios. So 2 and 30 can reduce down to 1 to 15. This means that for every 1 centimeter we measure in the diagram, it equals 15 kilometers. And that's kind of helpful because then if you know you're measuring across here, this is 3 centimeters, you know that's just 3 times 15. So you just multiply by the um, value on the right once you have a unit ratio. And like I say down here. So for the example, if we measure the distance from Arama to Toko as being 2.5 centimeters, then we could find the actual distance by multiplying 1.5 by 15, or it should be actually 2.5 times 15 because it's 2.5. So let's just make sure that's right. So I have 2.5 times 15, which is 37.5. So this is actually wrong. 37.5 kilometers, right? Because I took my value of 2.5, I don't know why I had that, 2.5 centimeters times it by uh, 15 because for every one centimeter it's going 15 kilometers so that means I'm going 37.5 kilometers so just make sure that you know um, if the units are different then you if you're measuring in centimeters then you're going to be multiplying by a value that's in kilometers might not make a whole lot of sense for the way ratio you're used to ratios but um, it does still work because um, your your ratio anyways is going to be, it can be different units, and it often is, especially if you go up to calculus and stuff like that. So sometimes a question will give us the scale and ask us information about uh, a model or actual size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work through this example here, where a drawing bridge, a drawing for a bridge, uses a scale of 3 centimeters to 60 meters. Now this time, we can actually convert, because meters isn't a whole, whole lot bigger than centimeters. It's not too bad. And then it says, if the diagram shows the bridge as 7 centimeter, centimeters tall and 19 centimeters long, then what are the actual dimensions of the bridge? So what I'm going to do is the first way I'm going to do this is to use unit ratios. 
So in order to use a unit ratio, I take my ratio of 3 centimeters to 60 meters, and I'm going to reduce this. So divide each side by 3. So I end up getting 1 centimeter is equal to 6. Actually, before we do, take, do the unit ratio, let's convert the 60 meters to centimeters. So I'm going to have 600 or 6,000 because I multiply by 100. So that's 6,000 centimeters. So I have 3 centimeters to 6,000 centimeters, which means that 1 centimeter is going to be, and I take 6,000 and divide by 3, so I get 2,000 centimeters. So for every 1 centimeter, that's equal to 2,000 centimeters um, on my drawing. Let's see what would happen if I kept it in 3 centimeters to 60 meters. If I divided each side by 3, divide by 3, I end up getting 1 centimeter, which is equal to, and that's going to become 20 meters. Well, 20 meters, if I multiply by 100, is 2,000. So see how the ratio stays the same. It still works. You can still keep things in terms of meters. But sometimes your book converts things to centimeters, everything to centimeters. So maybe we'll just do that, just so that you're, you're used to what they do as well. So now that I have my unit of 1 centimeters to 2,000, now I can finally say, okay, well, the bridge is 7 centimeters tall. It, I measure it on the diagram. It's 7 centimeters tall. Well, I know that for every 1 centimeter, it's equal to 2,000 centimeters in the real world. So I take that, and I multiply it by 2,000. So I take 7 times my 2,000, which is 14,000 centimeters, remember. So the thing is actually 14,000 centimeters tall, the actual bridge, right? And if we wanted to convert that to meters, we would divide by 100. So we get 140 meters tall, which is a pretty tall bridge. Now I need to go to my, how long is it? Well, it's 19 centimeters long. And again, here is my unit ratio, right? There is my unit ratio that I'm using. I know that for every one centimeter, it's equal to 2,000. So I can use this to either multiply or divide to figure out my length and my height so that I multiply by 2,000. And that's going to be equal to my length of my actual bridge. So I multiply by 2,000 and I get 38,000 centimeters long. And again, you could convert that to meters um, by dividing by 100. So you get 380 meters long. So not even close, to, uh, maybe about a third, a little over a third of a kilometer, right? Now, that's method one, which is using unit ratios. Method two is setting up equivalent ratios. So what I could do for, for part two is I would have my ratio written as a fraction. So I would have three over 60 or three over 6,000 for centimeters is equal to, and I need to get to, let me see here, seven over X, because I want to figure out how long the actual bridge is if it measures seven. So the way to do this is to do something called cross multiplication. So I cross multiply, I multiply the three by the X and the 6,000 times the seven. So 3 times x is 3x, which is equal to, and I keep the equal sign in the middle. Then I multiply 7 by 6,000, and I get 42,000. Now I need to solve for x, so I divide by the value that's in front because 3 is being multiplied by x, so I divide to do the opposite operation to cancel it out. Divide by 3, and you get 14,000, which is the same as I got before, which is good. 14,000 centimeters. So again, you can divide by 100 to get to 140 meters. Either one is fine. Um, you can leave it in centimeters or convert to meters, which is, uh, depends how the book, the book might write 140 meters though, so you should know how to convert between the two. Just like that too, I could figure out the length by doing the same thing, setting up my ratio, which was three over 6,000, that's my ratio, and it's going to be equal to 19 over x. Notice how I keep um, the drawing on top, 
and I keep my actual length on the bottom. And that's how you should be doing it as well. So 3 times x and 6,000 times 9. So 3 times x is just 3x, 19 times 6,000. So I have 6,000 times 19, which is equal to 114,000. And then again, I divide by 3 to get rid of it in front of x, and I get 38,000. Divide by 3, divide by 3. So x is equal to, and you can see 38,000 is exactly the same that I had on the other uh, side as well. Again, you could divide by 100 to get my centimeters to meters. So x is equal to 380 meters, or three, uh, 38,000 centimeters. Each one is fine. So if you notice, the part one, the, the first way, the method one that I used might seem a little easier, but method two might be easier if you don't want to get a unit uh, unit ratio. If you just want to go through it and do the algebra way, if, you, if you're okay with algebra, it's actually not too hard. You can all do this all in your calculator, right? You divide, or you take 6,000 times 7, just divide by 3 right on your calculator. So it's just kind of one thing. This one, you have to find a unit ratio first, which is nice because it's really nice to have the unit ratio. And sometimes questions ask for the unit ratio, so you have to get it, um, which is getting one on one side and then whatever, and you end up with on the other side as well. Um, but just be aware that you can do both and how you can do both. So that kind of explains how to do uh, unit ratios and setting up equivalent ratios.